This is a Handy Junior number one press. It looks just like the CS Osborne W1. So are they the same? Are parts interchangeable? I'll talk about that. Let's go into it. The Handy Junior is still made. You can still purchase these brand new and parts to go with it. Of course, I got this at a you know, second-hand store, super cheap, and I refurbished it. You can see that video right up here. When I was making my big grommet curtains, I found a supplier for these, these big grommets that I wanted to install in my curtains. But if you know anything about grommets, you need the corresponding dies. The grommets that I wanted only had dies available in C.S. Osborne. After I got the dies, I found out very quickly that C.S. Osborne dies wouldn't go onto the, the Handy Junior. Then I found out that I could get a C.S. Osborne pin to put in my Handy Junior press. And that pin had the right threads on the end of it that I could use the dies that I needed to use on these grommets. So if you want to change out the stem in this, it's not too tough. Um, I went through it in another video. And as you can see, the entire process you know, goes off. It's not difficult. Um, it probably takes 10 or 15 minutes to change out one stem into another. And in so doing, getting the appropriate thread, depending on whether you are using uh, C.S. Osborne dies or you're using the Handy Junior dies. You can use a C.S. Osborne pin in a Handy Junior. Now I don't have a C.S. Osborne W1 press, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't use a Handy Junior pin in a C.S. Osborne W1 press. So I'm sure they're interchangeable and you could go either way. So anyway, you can switch this pin back and forth depending on which die you want to use and as luck would have it just like I found this one I was at an estate sale and lo and behold what did I find another Handy Junior so Handy Junior presses and CS Osborne presses are the same except for the thread on the bottom of the pin this is the piece that you change out Handy Junior has a really coarse thread on it and the CS Osborne has a, a fine thread on the end. The pin changes out relatively easily and so now you can use dies for whatever pin you have inserted into whichever press you have. So in that regard they are interchangeable. You just have to change the pin out to match the dies that you want to, to buy and use. You know, if you're lucky enough to find this stuff secondhand, you know, you can get into it real affordably. But that's what makes it so interesting if you can get a Handy Junior or a CS Osborne for cheap. Just go ahead and get that. And then you can just change out the pin. And they're $25, $35. Bucks. And if you want to get one of these pins, look down in the description. I've got a part number. That way you can do your own search and, and try to find a a good dealer and you might find it leads you to a supplier that also has different dies and possibly grommets rivets buttons and snaps that you might want to use for your project you know I've got this whole setup where I keep all my presses on it so I'm lucky and I got two handy juniors so I just keep the CS Osborne pin in one and the handy button pin in the other and that's a big part of why I have all these different presses. Each press has a different mount for different dies that I can use to do the various uh, attachments. And then I even have another press which is set up for self-piercing grommets. It's a pretty neat press and the process that it performs is uh, a lot of fun. Well, I hope you found something there useful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to support me even more, you can become a patron. If you're into sewing machines, welding, woodworking, just uh, the style of video that I make, check out my channel. Do a little search. 
and maybe you can find something else you like there. Thanks a lot for watching.